Well, made it to the commentary box here. Good evening or afternoon or morning, depending on where you are in the world. Sorry I'm a bit late. Got tied up with a few meetings earlier, but we're here now at the Dynamic Billiard European Pool Championships. This is the nine ball single elimination. There's no more second chance. Winner prevails. The loser, it's time to go home. Just looking a little bit, a lot of people on the chat there, a lot of people watching. Very nice to see you all here. So have you all got sound? That's the question. A good safety there from Joshua. Schmidt there saying hello from Germany of course we have the Germans in here all rooting for Joshua I'm sure we got quite a few Polish tuning in rooting for Thomas tight game here Thomas Kaplan leading 2-1 this is a massive massive event for these guys and girls here the nine ball finalists getting a berth into next year's world games to be held in Alabama Birmingham in Alabama USA that's the B Olympics it is the highest accolade or highest level of event that you could actually get into in billiards. World Games is participated with the nine ball. It also has snooker and carom. They are the three disciplines that form the WCBS World Confederation of Billiard Sports. And it's the WCBS that are a member of the IOC family. Well, there's some Albanians on there too, on the chat. Welcome. There's no Eklund Kachi here, but you're still gonna see some amazing Paul. Thomas making a jump shot and Joshua shot on the one Thomas hasn't even got a chance to get to his chair before Joshua's up and raring to go okay there you go just replying on the chat although it's from Albania He's cheering for Filler. Why not? You don't have to be German to enjoy this young man. Very entertaining. Just what the sport needs. He's a real shop maker. Doesn't hang around. He's not happy with that though makes it look easy doesn't he wow they're all going Rome manias here as well I guess We've got quite a few nationalities here, and Joshua just getting tied up there. Ouch. Sp 
split the nine and six but got caught up behind the nine they're going for banking look is he gonna get lucky oh wow <laughs> hey take it you need the luck sometimes I know it's not nice to grab it but take it everyone needs the role whatever sport it is talent alone is not necessarily always enough you always need someone smiling down on you someone was certainly smiling then first nine ball will tie the match up at 2-2 two -two. correctly Shezminski it is a difficult one but yes vice president of the WCBS here and he's chief of the anti-doping he's the liaison to WADA yeah that's the organization that uh, deal with all the doping issues within sport and yes billiards have to make the doping tests We've got Stephanie Paul in here from the USA. I think it's probably early morning for you, so good morning, Stephanie. Obviously, you've seen a lot of the Europeans over in America, so you know a few of them, I'm sure. We are fortunate in Europe to have a very, very big pool of great players. Lost a little bit of transmission there. We have a bit of a weather issue outside and it's affecting the equipment inside We've been a little bit touchy all day quite strong winds they've had beautiful weather here sunbathing there's a few lobsters walking around the room as well when they spend a bit too much time in the sun but today the weather has turned and it's a little bit windy outside so we all back again Hopefully, you all have sound and vision because this is a real great match here this evening here in Antalya, Turkey. Thomas Kaplan from Poland is well in control of this table. He's leading 3-2 at the moment. And these three balls will put a bit of distance between himself and Joshua Filler. Race to nine. And it is alternate break here. Oh, there is a bit of a storm around we've just got a lot of wind over here outside trees are bending over backwards Joshua Filler 
reduces the deficit very, very quickly. You know, nice guys or face fits sort of thing. And we have a very clear way of nominating all the players to the major events here in Europe using the ranking systems. For example, the World Championships, we use these events, so the top eight finishing in the nine ball would go to the nine ball world championships same with the european tour we use the rankings to nominate anyone and we don't use wild cards in our criteria you earn the right you can't buy the right that's our philosophy anyway and that's how we do things Well, Christian Johannesen. There, I'm presuming it's our Christian. There's plenty of them, but presuming it's one of our senior players who plays a bit on seniors European Championships. Not sure, but pointed out that Joshua may be just glancing over because his wife Pia is playing on table four. You can watch all of the matches here live at www.kozoom.com. And Joshua just glancing over again as Thomas Kaplan is running this rack. Five balls to keep his two rack advantage over Joshua. There's a bit of excitement in the room. As I said, very important discipline this in the men and the women. The finalists end up going to Birmingham, Alabama next year for the World Games. Very important for the federations as well. The governments dish out some funding to the federations for the success of their athletes at all major tournaments and the World Games being the highest pays the most Thomas Kaplan five games to three leading Joshua Filler race to nine Wow. Two balls off the break. Look at that. Nice position there straight away for the one. Nothing in the way. doesn't take long working out the route he needs I won't even try and predict what Joshua is going to do he could use a seven to hold the cue ball which he does making light work of these and we'll reduce the deficit again when this nine ball drops put himself on to four points but Thomas Kaplan is still two youngsters there on table number six 
from the Netherlands, Yannick Pongers is up against Finland's Kasper Matikainen. The Finn in front, 6 3. A few more results there. We'll get back to them shortly, and we're going to stay with this game here. Well, thank you very much for your kind comments there, Uwe Schmidt. Thomas bank this one. He has, you know. Wow, what a great shot. What a great shot. Well rewarded. Joshua still peering over to see what Pia's doing. Got to concentrate here. Thomas left himself a tougher three ball than he probably would have liked, only for the fact that the cue ball's traveling due to the thinness of the cut. Oh, wow. He, well, he's not happy with a kiss, but I think the kiss helped him with a seven. Made this five more difficult. But we've seen the banking abilities of Thomas Kaplan. You're going to see another one now. Wow. I told you. He is on fire. Oh, Joshua just getting his break cue ready. He's already concluded that Thomas is certainly staying at the table for another couple of shots. Oof, he used the pocket. He used every millimeter of that. And this nine ball to take a 6-4 lead. He does over Joshua. Joshua straight out of his chairs like a hair out of the traps of the dog race. Made the one in the center. Two balls into the kitchen. Actually made a couple of balls off the break there. Shot on the two. Just shaking his arm around there, not as loose as he would like to be. getting the control on the cue ball that Joshua usually has. A suggestion there that is a, a bit of a distraction in the background for Joshua. One could say it's fortunate that they're playing at the same time. Others might say it's not. But if, it, if she wasn't playing at the same time, it would mean she would be out of the event. So Joshua's happy that she's in. But it could be a little distraction, wondering how she's doing when he should be knuckling down here because he's trailing a top Polish player, Thomas Kaplan. This will reduce the deficit by one. He's trailing Thomas now by five games to six. Thomas Kaplan breaking, rack 12. Nice, okay. 
just about a legal break. The eight ball just creeping over the line to get into the kitchen. Two balls a little bit tied up with the three. Not sure. I'm not sure. That's a tough angle to see if he can get a clear shot of that too. Well, he's down on it. It must go. Three balls nestled with it. No, he can't. I thought so. The way he went down, I thought he was going for it. And look at that for a shot. Perfect. Cue ball one end, two ball the other. And three balls in between. Going to have to use a rail first. Center pocket, of course, would be an ideal thing if someone filled in the hole. But he's got to work around that. That's a good out, but Thomas can see the two. Just looking there, I didn't know, I didn't think that Thomas could actually cut the two in, but he has the knuckle, send the cue ball back, and the three is hiding behind that six ball. I'll just point into the rail, gonna make rail to the three. the way before Thomas has even stood up from the shot Joshua is already at the table almost I think he's in a hurry no just kidding he's always playing like this always fast around the table that's why people love him so much Great entertainer. what a talent was in front of him wow three balls off the break he's on the two he's got a shot on the two the only thing obviously is the three ball down there the nine blocks it to one pocket six blocks it to an the other He's not happy. Yeah, Joshua bursting onto the scene. I think it was around the year 2010, thereabouts, 29 or 2010, one of those. And making it to the semi finals of the Euro Tour in his first ever event. And since then, everybody's been talking about him. You can see that match actually on the YouTube channel with Billiard Network. You can see that and a lot of others as well.
just reading a few of the comments on there. And Joshua's hungry for some food and the buffet closes at 9.30. That is correct. <laughs> the German rocket, says Uwe. Someone pointing out there, Mark J. Halvorsen, talking about Poland having to be probably one of the best nations for Paul. They are certainly one of the strongest, that is for sure. They've had a great program in place with the schools. They have tables in the schools, do a lot of work with them. The Ministry of Sport funds all of the players here. And practice a bit more for next year. Was just making. A couple of balls off the break. Got a nice spread. Mr. Yanti on there, Miko Yanti from Finland. Sending his regards to all the EPBF team. I know Miko is one of the senior referees in the EPBF squad. Your colleagues are working hard here, doing a great job. As are these two players entertaining it certainly is and there's all that up to see a match but Josh and Tony Drago they've actually played before And Paul is on its way up to, and that's thanks to the Turkish billionaire and of course their players as we get back to Joshua. Breaking off in rack 15. All square at 7-7 seven, seven and Joshua don't like it. Ah, his teammate Luka Man just giving him a little bit of water there. There's Dendi there, giving a shout out from Indonesia. Welcome. Miko pointing out that Gibaroglu won the title first in 2007 in the Czech Republic. But this uh, the title she won here, given the Federation a big, big lift. Do apologize about the slight cuts here. Like I did say, we are having a problem with the weather outside. It's affecting everything inside. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be tomorrow morning. And you can see all the matches still live 
at www.kazoom.com. And if you tune in now and buy a monthly pass, you have to pay a couple of months, but you'll also be able to see the Euro Tour, which starts at the end of this month, and the European Championships for the seniors. You may think there's no one in there, but there's some great names in there. You'll be surprised. There's a few players that actually are old enough to enter that, and they are slowly considering it, because these young guns here are not giving anybody the chances anymore. Top players are being eliminated. So maybe some of them might, just might be considering trying to give it a go on the seniors level. You have to be 45 and over for that. Every second year we go up with one year. So we always allow someone who's chasing the seniors to get in there. But slowly we want to raise the senior age to at least 50. Christian Dimitrov just saying there, a filler has turned it around. Looked like he was really under pressure earlier. Wasn't his usual self. And Thomas Kaplan missing and giving Joshua ball in hand. And no one would bet against Joshua at this stage. Just needing to run this rack he's through to the last 16 I'm not a betting man but I wouldn't put anything against this guy not at this stage Four balls for a place in the last 16. Joshua Filler takes down Poland's Thomas Kaplan. Nine games to seven. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen. And look out for another match coming tomorrow. It's all over here in Turkey tomorrow, so don't forget you have the last chance. Get your Kazoom passes and join us again tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed it. My name's David Morris, and I'm out of here for tonight. Thank you, and bye-bye.